all right ladies and gentlemen so i want to do a video just a little like rant or talk i guess and it's about bbs players only want one thing and it's thousand year blood war nobody wants to, okay not nobody but the vast majority only want thousand year blood war as you can see i put two community polls and i get why i get why but i don't think we should because i've recorded this video before so i'm going to try to just go over some key notes that i definitely missed in the first one so i have to do it again but uh we de we're definitely over hyping ourselves every single month okay I, I did it to myself, I've done it to myself, and I don't think I'm going to, except for big times of the year. So, basically whenever a Bankai Live is supposed to drop. Granted, there is probably going to be another video, probably Tuesday, because we should have gotten another special move source. This premium banner, last, or the last, uh, last point of it, but either way, go by that. But every single Bankai Live, I think, is when the insane hype banner should drop. We get about four of them a year, if I'm not mistaken. About April, Ju July, and I believe it was either September or August, or uh, September or October, and then end of year, December. That should be the four, and that's when I'll super hype myself up. But until then, I don't think I'm going to anymore. I don't want to guess Thousand Year Blood War every single month, and so I don't think I'm going to overhype myself with Thousand Year Blood War anymore. Uh, it it's just kind of ruining... The excitement, if you only go for, I want that was in your blood war, and we don't get it. And then you just, you know, you, you, you expect too much, and then you get insanely frustrated, which is why I assume a lot of people are saying they're going to skip, and then why basically everybody voted for Thousand Blood War. And it, it, it's definitely in turn with how me and other YouTubers were saying how it will most likely be Thousand Year Blood War, and then it isn't, and then it's like, ooh, un unfortunate. But yeah, I just want to go through some people's reasonings as to why they don't want to summon, or if they are going to summon. But I, I, I would genuinely like more banners that aren't just Thousand Year Blood War. I would re like really cool broken end of month premium characters. As you saw, we had Tenses and Getsu. Uh, we had Ichigo and Ishin, three of the best characters in the entire game. And they're premium. Obviously, Ishin is a PvP character, but you get what I mean. End of month premium characters can still be insanely broken. Now, obviously, they're not Thousand Year Blood War, and I think that a lot of people want Thousand Year Blood War because there's new characters in the game, such as an Asnots, such as the Quilgi we got. Uh, Bambietta's a remake, so I'm not going to count her. A uh, a uh, SPU hub. Basically a new character in my in my opinion, uh, you know Gerard eventually that'll be a while You know many now stuff like that new brand new characters and a lot of people were expecting as not Everybody hyped it up saying that it'll most likely be as not and it wasn't and now there's just a huge disappointment So that's why I don't think I'm going to do that anymore But uh, yeah, so if you guys like these kind of videos I'll try to do them a bit more But obviously there's nothing in the game right now to really cover so I figured I would do something like this for today so, yeah, uh, if you guys enjoy, hit that like button, subscribe, and let's just go into what people think. Uh, and I think the banner has really good value. I think it has more value overall than the Burn the Witch banner, besides it being super limited. Uh, I mean, I guess this one is also going to be limited, but I assume Burn the Witch would rerun less. And I'm not sure what the fillers were for Burn the Witch, so I can't say that it was better. I believe it was just all the Burn the Witch characters, besides, like, the, 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 the Parasol ones. So I feel like this banner has more value because the only good characters that for Burn the Witch that aren't Parasol are the brand new ones. So you know what I mean? Yeah. Either way, doesn't matter. I think this banner is actually really good. I'm going to go five steps. I will go five steps. Might go more. Maybe. Because it is a really cool banner. I genuinely like all three of the characters. But if I pull Gein, I'm going to be very sad because I don't really care for Gein as much. The, the, his design is insane. I would have loved it if it was a character I liked, like Kenpachi or something. Uh, but Rukia, ain't, I, I really like Ikaku. I am there. Uh, but I genuinely do like uh, Rukia. Love her design. So hopefully I can at least pull her. But uh, either way, we have John Glow here. Ikaku looks dope. Maybe just one summon for him. Fair enough, fair enough. Because everybody's expecting Thousand of Budware next month. Or, or the out of nowhere triple aizen ichigo banner or something you know like how we got the triple okiora banner ruined premium banners because every single time there's a premium banner even even mentioned that was in your blood war or uh triple ichigo banner triple aizen banner triple kenny banner triple unahana or remake uh remake don guys etc etc it's like 
premium banners can be more than that. That's all I'm going to say. I would love those things, but premium banners can be more than that. Uh, and no, I'm skipping Rukia. Hi. I, I, I get it. I think she's an insane unit. I, I, I genuinely do. I think she's a really good unit. Probably, uh, it's like a, like a 9 out of 10 chance of her being the best power unit in the entire game. Besides the nuker, Yamamoto is still probably better. Uh, much to the discounts, but nothing more unless I magically get 10,000 orbs. Fair enough. Easy skip, but Ikaku, bro. Bro, Ikaku looks fire. No cap. Easily the best Ukaku in the entire game. I'm going to summon maybe five steps and hope for Rukio or Ukaku, and that's the most I'm going to do for now. Fair enough. Uh, I think five steps is valid. You know, going for one pity. Hopefully, you pull one of the new characters. That's what I'm kind of hoping for, and then I can do showcases on them. Really hope I get the Rukio. One step to test the universe. Hopefully, the universe is in line with you. Might do a few on Rukio's individual. I do like that. I completely forgot the individuals were even in the game, because I swear somebody said that they weren't, and then I just completely, like blanked out forgetting about Quilgi and Bambietta's rerun um or individual but uh yeah the, the the individuals aren't too bad to be honest I think the only terrible one was Gein's um but I think Ikaku's individual was actually really good because of the uh the fillers uh gonna go for like five or six steps I like Rukia very nice very nice uh, I did not mean to hurt that but all in for Rukia you know I'll just like I'll, I'll heart it why not uh definitely Ikaku individual got all the fillers yep as I just said I'll do the first step. I really want Ikaku. Hopefully, you can get him. I, I, I really want to pull at least Ikaku or Rukia. That's what I want. Like, I, I genuinely do am hyped for the banner. It's just that I, I should have said this earlier. I completely forgot to, even though I literally went through this already. But the seasonal, the season for it is just so weird. I think they wanted it to look like fall. So, I think that should have been last month. You know, September is a fall month. And then... Nini and Noel should have dropped now. You know what I mean? It's it's just weird because like their entire design. I didn't even think about this before until I just said this, but it's literally just falling leaves. So like it would have made so much sense for September. That's when the leaves usually fall, you know, from the trees. That, that like I don't, if I look if I could look outside right now, I have like ten leaves on my tree right now, bro. I don't know. Either way, uh, silver just doesn't feel any hype for it. See, over like if. Thousand Year Butterworth is not in existence. I think this would have been a hype banner for a lot more people. But because everybody was over hyping Thousand Year Butterworth to rerun or to get a new banner, I, I, I think it just killed this banner and it's going to sink its cells, unfortunately. Which is very unfortunate because I think all the characters are really good. Gein is a little bit iffy, depending if you want to summon for him. If you like Gein, he's a fantastic speed unit. It's just that Unahana and uh, Tensei Zengetsu have more usability and are better, which is un kind of unfortunate, but still Gein. You're a Gein fan, go for it. Uh, skip because I must wait until thousand. Yeah, see, th this is what I mean. Not blaming them, not blaming them, obviously. It's because the thousand or bubble banners are put up at such a high pedestal and, over and just insanely hyped that it's like no other banner can compete. And it's really unfortunate, unfortunately. Like, even like the Burn the Witch one, so much hate for it. So much hate for it, even though it was kind of because the units were kind of like mediocre, unless it was like certain Guild Quest weeks and Limit Breaker, but still. Uh, easy skip on all three characters. Unfortunate, but you do you. No, no hate, obviously. You know, you don't like them. You don't like them. One step, two steps, going all 700. What are these replies? I've never seen them. Oh, three pulls. Okay, why does it say two replies? It's not Thousand of Woodward yet. Yeah, and then skip. Not a fan of any, and then all worthless in my eyes, and I don't care about Rukia's stats. I mean, that's fair. Fair. But, like, calling them worthless is crazy. I assume it's because they want Thousand of Woodward, but I won't put that in their mouth, but... That, that, that's just my take. Um, I would genuinely love more, like, different kinds of banners dropping. I want full, beyond full bring. I want beyond full, uh, beyond uh, resurrection remakes. Uh, more novel characters, like a remake of Tokinata, something like that. Maybe make him an SP unit, because, you know, why not? And I don't consider a nag to an SP character a remake, realistically. It's like a literally a brand new character, but you get what I mean. Um, I would just like different things in the game besides literally just thousand year blood war premium and then random seasonals because it's that part of the season you know what i mean i i i would like a bunch of things you know uh i i've, I've seen a lot of people say uh quincy's as storm Raiders and soul reapers as quincy's like i saw an amazing fan art of uryu with ichiko's bankai and it looked so sick oh my god dude it would just be so cool, you know? But at this moment, it's still Thousand of Bloodwork is going to reign supreme and filthy 
little gamer men like us. Yes, I am a filthy gamer man. Filthy gamer BBS man. Only 1,000 or Bloodborne. Now, obviously, if it's a waifu banner, you, you gotta do what you gotta do, but... Uh, yeah, anyways, let me know down below. Do you guys only want thousand or butler? Are you guys more of a oh? I want a chill skip month, etc. etc. Do you guys just don't care and you're just like hey, it's an end of month banner, it's a broken character. I'm gonna summon. Let me know down below what you guys prefer in a banner. Uh, are you all all about a good banner overall? Like the filler, kind of just curious, kind of just curious what my uh fan base or subscribers, my homies like in a banner. Just kind of curious, anyways. Just a little nice, relaxed rant video. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, I think Sunday I'm finally going to release my GoQuest video, and it was awful. So uh, take care and peace out.